playing Mana Hero, you and then um, you will earn badges as you play more games. Uh, for example, when you put some players, basically. So be that. Yeah. So this is just further elaborating on the you know the so-called the Wonder Passport, your ID player profile. Where you will see your so all these I mentioned is just concept, right? Because they are just now now they only have Wonder Hero. They want like more developers to come onto the Wonder Heroes platform to you no know, make games on it because that's what they want. Like because the idea the most profitable thing for the developers is actually not just the game. They want their platform to be profitable. Just like you no know, Steam, right? So a big example is like Steam. So Steam itself, it started with you no, know, uh, the I mean how Valve makes the most money, right? It's actually from Steam as a platform, right? Not as a game itself. So obviously they have their original games, which is like Dota Two, were very popular, free to play, and then they used to have you no know, Half Life, Half Life Two, which are not free to play, right? So those are paid experiences. But you no know, Dota Two is like one of their major. Uh, sources to attract players onto the Steam platform itself. And once you're on the platform and you start buying any of the games, right, Steam, uh, Valve actually gets a cut of the money, right? So only a percentage of the money that you pay through Steam will actually go to the actual developers themselves. Some other percentage, which obviously we don't know how much, will actually be paid to Valve. And that's how Valve makes the entirety of their money. So every developer wants their platform to be the most widely used platform uh, in the market, right? Uh, I think the um, uh, Axie Infinity with their Ronin no token, they want, they are trying to push their platform, right? To be a game platform for other games. And obviously Wonder Hero is going the same path as well. Wonder Hero developers and the CEO obviously wants to push their own platform, you know, to have other games or get onto their platform so that they can start earning commissions. So it is like a easy way, much easier way to you no know, make money because you don't have to keep pushing out your own original game. You don't have to pay your own developers. You just need other developers you know, to work on their own budget. And then you get commissions from the, the other developers or other games being on your platform. So you no know, easy money, right? So to say, so everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to push it out. Very minimal maintenance, like you only need like a skeleton crew staff to maintain the platform. You don't need to, like I mentioned, don't need to pay for developers, don't need to pay for costs, right? You don't have to like hire a big team to design a new game. You don't need to design new concepts, new, new new artists. You don't need new, uh, to hire like game designers and all that, right? All you need to do is just maintain the platform and then have their own other game developers do their own thing. And which you no, know, they are not paid as well, right? Because the own other game developers, they are all independent. They are they are self self funded. They have their own funding, and you don't have to pay them to be on your platform. Uh, but they are actually paying us to be on the. They are paying Wonder Hero to be on Wonder Hero's platform itself by you no know, having this commission every time a player would like buy assets through their platform for that particular new game. So let's say you have like Animal Planet Eleven, right? This is a new game. So when you buy assets for like Animal Planet 11 through the Wonder Hero platform, so Wonder Hero developers and the CEO will get a cut of uh, the, you know, the whatever is being paid and then they, they will earn money then. 